Okay, so here we have an original MG13 double saddle drum. It's uh, been repainted unfortunately as it came out of the German tunnels here in Jersey, I guess in about the 1950s, 1955, so it had spent 10 years or so languishing in the tunnels in the damp atmosphere. Um, the colour's not too bad, a little bit bright. Um, my opinion is if somebody wants to sit down and give it a clean, you'll come back to the original blue finish. Um, it's going to be a little bit pitted. It has suffered from being in the tunnel, um, but it's unusual enough, uh, rare enough to be worth the effort of cleaning it, making it uh, look a little bit better than it does. As we can see just down here in the centre of the screen, we can still make out the maker's logo, Hasag. Just a little bit up here, we've got a serial number with a date of 37 to the left of the serial number, zero for empty to the right of the serial number. We also have a 75 showing that the, uh, or would show when the magazine is full. Um, yeah, we've got a 50 down again in the centre of the screen there. Just an indicator as to how the loading was going. If I turn the drum over, you can see on this side that the paint hasn't gone all the way to the end of the charger. Just here, look, it finishes just here. There's the bluing. So there is a chance that uh, we'll get back to the original finish. A little bit pitted on this side. Nothing too deep, but it will clean. You can see that the uh, carry strap um, leather has uh, rotted away, broken off from its fixing point at this side. But it's not too, too bad. And again, you can see zero and V presumably empty and full on either side there with a directional feed arrow. You've also got the dummy cartridges, the leaders, one's painted grey and the others are still in the original colour. I'm sure with a bit of effort that this would clean up. Um, if you've got an MG13, this is a really super piece when it's fitted to the gun. It makes the gun look really unusual, not a common piece. If you're interested, then of course you need to get in contact with me. If you're interested in other items, again you need to look at my website. So let me just shift across here, take a couple of seconds. There you go. If you're interested in this or any other original German items I have for sale from my collection, then please go to wwwgerman w 2 militariacouk or email me at that address. Also, just moving back to this side, I'm also looking for soul book, ver pass, documents, photos, complete photo albums from German soldiers who were stationed in the Channel Islands. If you've got anything, again, please drop me an email. I'm always looking for such items, um, and I'll be bringing you some more bits and pieces for sale shortly. Thanks a lot. Bye.